Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. This is one of the most confusing times for bird identification in the bird world. Uh, a lot of it has to do with what we call molt. Molt is the changing or replacing of feathers in birds. Uh, humans, our hair grows all the time and we're constantly having to have our hair trimmed like I did yesterday. Um, and you, it's a constant state for us. But for birds, feather growth is quite different. For most birds, it's a cyclic thing. Uh, if you saw a couple of weeks ago when we talked about goldfinches, we talked about complete molts, uh, two complete molts a year, things like that. Uh, different birds have different theories. And the changing of feathers is quite often triggered by certain events in the environment. The, the, the day length is a, is a big thing in, in the bird world where they know that it's time to migrate and they need new feathers. They need fresh feathers for that long journey ahead of them. Um, the breeding season's coming upon them so they want to be as attractive as they possibly can to attract a mate. So that will trigger a molt process for them. Uh, feather wear, depending upon their lifestyles, if you live in forest or, or real tangly brushy areas, areas and you're constantly uh, brushing your feathers up and wearing them against uh, things, your, then your feathers will wear out faster. Uh, those all will cause you to need to replace your feathers, but birds mainly do it on a cycle. They, it's the same time every year, so if you can learn the process of molt and when birds are molting, that will help you with identification of certain birds. The time that it is most obvious for us as, as bird watchers, of course, is in baby birds and young birds because that first set of feathers that they get quite often looks very different from their second set of feathers or third set of feathers, their adulthood feathers. Um, you can identify a young bird at your bird feeders because they quite often look ragged. They, uh, they'll have a grayish uh, fluffy feathers sticking through their uh, exterior feathers where an adult will look quite smooth and, and uh, clean looking, whereas young birds tend to look disheveled a bit. And a lot of that has to do with that first set of feathers. You want to be camouflaged when you're young, uh, much like the female needs to be camouflaged when she's sitting on a nest. A uh, young bird needs to be camouflaged because they don't know what's going on in the world. They don't know to be uh, scared of predators. They don't know to be, uh, need to, they need to be elusive, not sit out in the middle of the open if you're a bright color. So they, that, that first set of feathers for young birds quite often helps them to survive and get them through that first year of life or that first half year of their life. The, um, the, the picture I have here, let me get rid of this out, uh, one that was taken by a customer. Um, is a picture of a young female cardinal. Um, you can see that she is not quite clean and, 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 and not the, the crispness of an adult female with the browns and the reds being pretty uh, separated. You can see the gray at the uh, underneath there. Those are down feathers. Those are fluffy warm feathers that they get and that's not, not all quite covered up yet. So the black bill is another good indication that this is a young cardinal instead of her bright orange bill that she'll have as an adult. So that's an example of young feathers that have not yet or are in the process of molting. The, uh, the, so this time of year, in the fall especially, we're seeing lots of that going on. We're seeing young birds that look different from the adults and that can be confusing because most of our field guides only present one or even two pictures of birds. Whereas we know different times of the year because of molt, birds can look quite differently from spring to fall uh, to summer to winter. Sometimes they get multiple different plumages. So it can be quite confusing. And that's one of the things when you become a bird watcher that you have to learn to deal with is, is identifying molt. Um, the whole inspiration for doing this uh, program today was the uh, a, a, an unusual molt that happens. Whenever we see um, a, an eagle uh, in the air or a hawk in the air or, or a turkey vulture in the air soaring and sometimes you'll see one or two uh, gaps in their their wings when they're flying that's often just uh, the the molt of their primary feathers or flight feathers which are very very important and so they can only afford to lose one or two at a time and uh, be replaced slowly with the new feathers and still maintain the ability to fly because flight feathers obviously are quite important 
The other type of feathers that are quite important are the, the down feathers underneath the, the, the contour feathers and flight feathers because that's what keeps them warm in the winter months. But feathers that aren't so important some of the year are the head feathers. Head feathers are one for decoration, mainly just for flirting, and that is to attract a mate. This time of year, the mating season is coming to a close, and so they're not quite as important as they are during the spring, whenever they want the males want to look their best to attract a female. Um, it's not cold now, so they don't need feathers on their heads, and sometimes we get this. That's the reason the pre this program is called Cardinals from Mars. That's the name of an article I wrote many years ago. And this, people are reporting these birds right now, and they'll also see this in blue jays. Cardinals and blue jays are the two most common. And I've heard this called a throw molt. And that is, head feathers are only for decoration and for warmth, and this time of year they don't need them for both. So, why go the process, through the process of just dropping a few, couple of feathers at a time, and like a lot of the molt process is, they just throw all their head feathers at once, and you think, oh my gosh, he's sick, he's it, there's something wrong with him. Well, this bird is perfectly healthy. And he'll keep coming to your feeders and you'll see the pin feathers start to develop and poke through that black skin. And then before you know it, his feather head's completely feathered again. So it's a normal thing, it happens every year. Not all birds do it, but more and more uh, are, that we, we see every year. And I think that's because of you guys that are out there observing, taking pictures and, and, and sending them in. We're becoming more aware of how common this molt process really, really is. So um, yeah, it, he's perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong. He'll be fine. You don't have to worry about him. And he, it is a process that uh, it, it's is simply unique. Um, I think that's it for the day. Please send in uh, uh, ideas for uh, the future programs. I think next week we're going to talk about native plants because we have our native plant sale next Saturday. We'll be out front out on the sidewalk selling native plants and so that'll probably be next week's topic but keep sending those in. Like the videos, share the videos, that really helps us out. And as always come by and let's talk birds.